right now at 530 big changes coming to the Grand Island bridges. Good evening. I'm Heather Lee. This is what traffic there looks like right now, but by Friday morning things are going to be a bit different when cashless tolls go live. It might be confusing to start, so tonight we're giving you a look at what you can expect. Overnight Thursday into Friday morning, likely around midnight, the Thruway Authority will flip the switch, so to speak, on the new cashless tolls on Grand Island. Cashless tolling is absolutely a critical part of modernizing our transportation infrastructure. State police will stop traffic for a few minutes just before the changeover, so the Thruway Authority can shut down some of the old toll booth lanes. After that, the system will go live, and for now, both north and southbound drivers will go through one of three remaining toll booth lanes without stopping. The toll booths will be removed in phases in the future, so be sure to follow the temporary traffic patterns in the meantime. So that'll take just a little bit of time, but ultimately they will all be removed. The speed limit is 20 miles an hour through the old toll plaza. Then you'll make your way through the new gantries. The state-of-the-art technology will ease congestion and help the environment by reducing idling. If you have an easy pass, your toll will be collected the same way it is now. If you don't have one, the new system will take a picture of your license plate and the registered owner of the vehicle will get a bill 30 to 45 days after going through the cashless toll. None of the toll costs here at Grand Island change for residents or non-residents. Bills can also be sent via email if you provided an email address, so be sure to check there. You can go to tollsbymailny.com to pay a toll bill you just got, pay for the trip you just took, or plan an upcoming trip. You have 30 days to pay a toll. If you don't, you'll get a second bill with a $5 late fee. If you don't pay that one, the bill becomes a violation, and you'll get a notice mailed in an orange envelope with up to a $100 violation per trip. Drivers who use the cashless tolling but haven't received a bill should contact the Tolls by Mail Customer Service Center and be sure to reach out to them if you want to dispute a bill. We have all of the contact information you need right now at WGRZ.com. The Thruway Authority says that 96% of drivers actually pay their tolls and do so on time. Grand Island is the first spot in western New York to have cashless tolling. It's expected to be implemented across the entire mainline Thruway by the year 2020.